hey guys welcome back welcome back to my channel look what i've got i've got the cup tray mode from molds and shapes and wow it's really amazing mold um yeah what i want to do i want to do i want to try to get a little bit of crackle effect at the outside i want the resin to be pushed inside so a little bit a sort of web effect and I want to do a flower in the center. So it's quite challenging for me. And I hope it's going to turn out. <laughs> so now you see me pouring my clear resin around the edge. And the resin I'm using is the Art Pro resin from the Resin Pro company, Italian brand. And for me, it works the best when it comes to a crackle effect when it comes to web effect so it's a medium viscosity resin it has a rather long working time i think it's around about 80 minutes maybe 90 minutes it's really huge and i like this resin a lot for special effects so i'm just pushing out a little bit my resin in the little handle before I start actually pouring. And my first color is the sand color from Miss Color Berry. And I thought I do the light color first. And then on top of the sand color, I will later pour the brunette. This is my thought. So I hope it's going to work that I have a darker effect on the bottom of my cup. And I do the opposite way on the top of my cup. So that I have the light effect at the top. So you have this cappuccino effect. I don't know if it's gonna work. At that time, I didn't know. So let's wait and see. So now I'm pouring the brunette and the brunette is from Just Paint from Petra Youngblut, a very beautiful brown color. And I'm pouring it on top of the sand, also where the handle is. And now a very thin layer also on top. This is the bottom layer. And then on top of this, the sun color. So I'm hoping that at the top, really, the sun color will be dominating, and at the bottom, the brunette. I have no idea if it's going to work out. We need to wait and see. Now I'm pouring my clear into the center. I'm pushing out the colors so they get dragged to the edges and they can pull into the center again. Well, this is the plan. You know, resin always has its own head, so you're always praying that it works how it's in your mind. But, well, it's always exciting. So now I'm just using up my colors down there. I'm pouring again the brown color. On top, the sand color. And like I said, I'm just using my micas up. So I'm not wasting them. And I'm giving it a quick torch. Please 
guys always be careful using the torch i know i'm in trouble with molds and shapes that i'm using the torch but um, for me it works the best to pop the bubbles but i'm always very careful with it so and now my next color is the ivory i think it's ivory it's elfenbein um, color elfenbein is a germ word and it's um, a pigment paste from Dippon and I thought I use this as well to have maybe a little bit more a milk, milky creamy effect as well so now I'm intending to do my flowers so I'm pouring into the center or I'm dropping into the center the praline it's a resin ink from Stefanietta. So I dropped two drops and you see it's already spreading nicely. And I'm filling my pigment paste into the piping bag. Sorry, it takes a little while. And then I start to pour my spiral. Yeah, in this video, the ivory looks really dark. I don't know why. <laughs> but it's like it is. But I'm going in circles. And, yeah. Just going in very thin layers. And you can already see my resin is thickening up. But you can also see how um, the resin is now dragging from outside in. And there you see me smoothening some of the so-called blobs. Sometimes I don't mind to have blobs. I don't know why everyone is always, always concerned not to have a blob. Sometimes it gives really nicely depth into a piece, I think, personally. But it's, of course, a matter of taste. So now I'm drawing my petals and I'm dragging the stick from outside in. And then I'm giving it a little swirl into the center and I'm pulling out my petals just to give it a little bit more interest. At that point, I thought, Petra, you have used exactly somehow the same colors like you did in your pour. I mean, for the crackle and um, the web effect. And I'm really hoping that the flower will, will work out, that you can really see what I'm doing. I mean, yeah. But what I like, you can really see in this video how the resin is working. Then I thought, I still have these clear parts and I don't know what's going to happen. Why don't I just put some of the glass bits? They are the champagne glass bits from Laura's Art Corner. And put them just around my flower and maybe some into a petal of the flower just to have a little sparkle, not too extreme but just this little eye catcher and uh, I was just going for it and I thought why not please um, excuse me that I needed to take my glove off but it was better because I have more feeling to yeah, what I'm doing with the glass bits because your glove is always sticky from the resin, etc. etc. Now I'm pushing down the glass bits and yeah, I'm wondering, I'm really wondering what I've done. So, anyway, this is now the next day and actually is more than 24 hours later. 
because I had some challenges today. <laughs> we were locked out and we had to stand outside and guys were, I don't know what they were doing, but we had to wait over three hours to get back into our apartment. So, well, anyway, this is the demolding and let's have a look. Yeah, I'm oh, I'm amazed about the crackle effect. Um, outside and the web effect dragging inside and you can see the border, you know, the darker color to the lighter color. So like cappuccino and this little gentle flower. So yeah, this is the close up and also the final result. I wonder what you're thinking about my cup. Um, if you like it, just give me a thumbs up. Please leave me a comment. I'm always happy about a comment. And guys, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. This would be very nice. Okay, I love to leave you and a sneak peek on Baguera while I was trying to make a photo. But <laughs> take care, guys. Bye bye.